thing. Now we're all in the right way round now. So sorry about our false start just now. We'll try and continue. Maybe that's why I was having anxiety. It must have been a premonition that Facebook was gonna do a wobbly this morning. However, we're fine, we're back. Um, and I was just pointing out, I don't know if you can re-point out, Ginge, the, the link that we did between the two rooms. We were wanting to have fun with the wall paints. And I did that when I first moved up to this shop over three years ago. And so we just decided to showcase Morning, the wall Ken. paints. Morning, Ken. Thank you for coming. So I did this um, on I don't know how you Thursday. did that on your own. No, I had the most horrendous neck ache at the end of it, trying to hold the stencil up in place and move it and not get any smudges. I've still got the pencil lines on there, which I use to centralize it. You find the center point of your wall, the center point of your st uh, stencil, you stick it on the wall, do your stencils, and then you kind of move it outwards and along. And then but you pay a lot of money to the car. Doing it on your own, absolutely. I swore such a lot. Anyway, I was determined to finish it. I've done it bar rubbing out the guidelines, which we'll do today. And then next job today, you've brought this trusty ruler in, is to measure up this wall. We're going to have some big wide stripes, probably, I don't know, 10 to 12 inches wide. Uh, this will obviously stay in the mustard because we have the grey there. And then it will be grey mustard, grey mustard right along to the end. And then depending on what ends that end, we'll decide what we're doing with the link wall there. So it's just really to highlight the fantastic uh, wall paints we used honeycomb which is this lovely sort of rich mustard color with the most amazing coverage how many viewings do you say we'd had on the little clip we put of nick painting the wall? thousand a thousand viewings and i think people have been really impressed by the coverage you moved my mug and we also have the um greyhound not the greyhound the gentleman's club which is the gray that's on the walls so um, if you want to order any of the wall paints, it's 42 95 for a two and a half litre tin. And just phone in and let me know what you want and then I'll add it to my next order. If you need it overnight, it's an extra Big 6 smile. 95 Big smile. <laughs> Big breath. So those are the wall paint sachets that we have hanging up over there. They're 95p each. And you can take one of those, paint it onto an A4 size sheet of paper and move it around your room to get an idea of how the colour looks different in different shades, uh, you know, walls Ooh. with the windows, etc. So that's a useful little thing to have. Um, but we will take some videos, we'll put them on today with our stripes as we're doing them. Aileen's saying good morning ladies good morning, Aileen. and Nick. Good yes, morning. and Aileen's coming in, I think, to grab a little bit of my paint out of the pot so she can try the mustard. So we have got some little pots, and I know that Aileen said she'd like some, so I'll do that. Um, and then we have still got lots of the stuff in that we collected last week, but we haven't been able to put it on because of the technical issues. Have you got these two lovely candle sconces, or at least one of them we can what, show somebody? We've also had some wicked greetings cards in. I mean, some seriously rude ones, which I've not been able to put on the spinner. So if anybody wants some funny but very rude cards, come in and ask me, and I've got them in a box under the desk. And they're we're that bad. They're pretty bad, yes, they're pretty, pretty bad. bad. So we've got two of these lovely oh, sconces. Nice. We've got a bit of a candle wonk going on there, but anyway. Um, two of those, they're very ornate. You want to put it sideways as well, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be the wall. <laughs> Um, we've got two of these lovely sconces and they are, is it 95 for the pair? 95 for the pair, yeah. And we'll put those up on the wall somewhere in here today. They're going to look nice on our new bit of wall, possibly. Maybe I won't even sell those, but anyway, we'll see about that. <laughs> so, um, should we do a quick march down in the big room? Which is actually looking very sort of um, sparse at the moment. This lovely little drawer came in. These were pre-painted, um, but they're very, very nice. Nicely made with the dovetail joints, nice sort of old distressed paintwork on them. Um, those are 74.95, and we're in Wotton and Red, which is a beautiful little town, very old, very quaint, and very windy staircases and quite small rooms. And we've discovered over the seven years that I've been trading that we need to have small chests of drawers, otherwise people can't get them up into their spaces. So that one I should think will fly out. It could be used in the lounge with a lamp on it, or it could be a bedside table, 
or it could just be a little mini chest of drawers. It's really, really nice. Um, this came in. This is an Art Deco uh, style uh, unit, which is on for $39.99, so it's no money at all. It's in really good condition. It has a key and a working lock, and it has shelves that go up and down. But these really do look nice, transformed into gym cabinets. And I've got some really clever customers who come in and they buy them and they put wallpaper on the back. So they put the little um, battery operated LED lights or even lights they drill through and put them into a plug socket um, and paint them in the most amazing colours with the Frenchie paint and use them as gym cupboards in their kitchens, which is really nice. Um, these bits of objet d'art came in. Um, I don't really even know what it is. I expect if I point it that way, you'll be able to see it more easily. But be careful not to knock anything over. They're just sort of brackets with bits of sort of carving on the end. You could put a tapestry hanging on the wall from it or a big map, um, or you could use it to face a piece of furniture, something a bit like this. If you had a nice big piece of furniture, it would make a nice decorative bit on the top. Um, those, I think, were 15 or 20 pounds each. Can't quite remember, but we'll put the labels on later. Had some lovely trim in last week, sold them all bar two. <coughs> Excuse me, but these two little ones would make a lovely bracket. They've got some very nice carved detailing on them, and you can make a nice little shelf with that. <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat. Um, should we just wander? Yes, this is nice. I like this. This is 155. Isn't it gorgeous? That's an amazing um, price for it. It's a chest on chest. That's like a piece of art. It's got some nice detailing on the legs. And um, it's like it's a bigger a, than its boots little cabinet. It is, it's like a chunk box, yes. isn't it? It's very nice, very cute, and it's perfectly lovely as it is. Yeah. But again, if somebody wanted to paint it, then they could. But that's on for 150 That would look nice in a minimalist room with it would. just that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, with just that. And, <laughs> and I've got to say as well, I know this is a bit naughty, but I can't help it. We'll have a look at him from the other way around, but he's had his bits chopped off because that's what the Victorians used to do. But he's still got the most magnificent backside. All right, Paul Nova. <laughs> God, <laughs> can't help it. Every time I walk past, I just think, ooh. Um, this gorgeous Windsor chair, 295, so comfortable, so solid. Previously painted a long, long time ago, so it's got a lovely patina and lovely wear on the arms and the seat. Happens to look really, really lovely with the desk that we have in, which is a similar sort of colour and has a similar sort of wear. The desk is 295 and it's got a leather top, which we haven't moved all the stuff off it to put outside this morning, so you can't see it at its best. But it's in really, really good condition. And the two together look fantastic. So although they're not being sold together, if somebody wanted a really good desk combo, that would look super smart. Um, can I just speak about the YouTube channel? You can. Fifi is getting on very well on her YouTube okay. channel, yeah. yes. She doesn't know it, but she is. She so if you can um, go there and subscribe to the channel, it's got some other viewing um, technical buttons that you can use, like speeding up the broadcast or, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lot easier on YouTube, I find, to, to have a, a viewing experience. So if you do use YouTube and you like it, please go and subscribe to her YouTube channel. We're trying to build it up over there as well. Thank you. That's this bulletin over. <laughs> Thank you, James. You do a marvellous job of trying to sort of help promote it. And it's very much appreciated. Um, now, this one, everything's a bit jammed in up this corner. Um, this, I think, is lovely. It's an old trunk. And it's sort of different because it's almost like a vertical trunk. It's got drop handles, metal handles on both sides. Lovely big um, laspen... Brain is shot today, I can't remember what they're called. Um, nicely worn, top has been sort of varnished and polished, and actually that would look quite industrial and would also look very nice with a lamp on it in a lounge or a hallway. Ken's and asking for the YouTube ID. It's the same as here, it's Fifi's Fancy Furniture, and I will um, post a link in the comments afterwards. Ken? And I'll um, make sure you know where how to find it. Thank you. Um, we've got the lovely 
The garden mirror, which we put up on I the wall over there. That. Isn't it great? Reminds me of sort of Snow White somehow. Mm. It's on for £144.95. Very robust, made from some sort of heavy duty resin. Nicely worn, already looks as if it's about 185 years old at least. And that would look super in the garden. And we've put the plaque up here, £95. That looks so real, doesn't it? Mm. People think it's properly carved wood. In actual fact, it's a moulding, oh, it. but it looks great. And um, we've just put it up there just to sort of really? showcase it, make it easy for people to see. Can't zoom. Can't zoom on that one? No. no. Having a bit of technical problems today, aren't we? This rocking chair came in, 195. Ashley, I do like the rocking chair. I think I could probably sit there. I think we should just tie your arms up and put you on that chair for the rest yes, of the day. Yes, I could sit there and dribble all day. That would be nice. Right, let's go and have a quick look outside. And then we'll get on with doing our painting, which I'm excited about. Um, come on out. Lovely day. It's gorgeous. Beautiful day. Not quite as lovely as it has been. So we've got this chair. This is a chair that came in and it was a really pretty horrible dull green. I've painted it and it's extremely comfortable. It would make a good office chair. And it's on for £15. You can't get wow. much cheaper than that, can you? Solid £15. and looks the part. It's very yes. nice. So if somebody wants to look at value, £15. We've had this lovely treadle machine um, table in with the mahogany top. It's on for £185. The treadle works. Do you remember Mum? Yeah. She used to sew with one of these, didn't she? It that used to make the whole solid, floor vibrate, didn't it? And yeah. she was trundling along with pins stuck in her mouth and saying, bugger! Bugger, every time she broke a pin in the... That's so where we got it from. <laughs> Why we swear so badly. Mm. You probably can't see these through the window because of the reflection. Two stunning chairs there. Um, they are second hand, but they're in mint condition. I don't think that they were really ever used. They were on a mezzanine landing. And they are £255 each. I've looked up to find the closest I could see on the internet, and the closest I can see is 450 So they are really good value. So I've got two of those. I don't think they'll hang around for long. I've got this dear little high chair. Very solid, very heavy. Um, nice project. Lovely project for somebody. That would look so pretty painted up. And there's just enough space here for somebody to stencil their little darling's name on. And that's £35. That's a great project. Still got the beautiful French um, 1920s folding table. These look so nice. They look lovely indoors or outdoors, actually. So if anybody's interested in that, come and see me soon. This is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely again. I keep saying lovely. You need um, to find a new word I for do. you, don't I do. I just can't help it. It's just pretty. built in. This is not really pretty, pretty. This is industrial looking. We'd have to get Nick to do this for us. It's, um, it's uh, got a clever ratchet system raising it up and raising it down but I love that little table, really do. Cute little watering can, just got his uh, little mouth hole just so you can water your plants. These came in, we can't stand them up the proper way because we're on a slope here, but these are African bowls. They do actually stand up, they're solid wood carved and I just thought that they were lovely. So that one's got a very small uh, base, so that one does wobble, I tend to leave that one up that way, but they're great. And we've also got some cages here which I think they would fit in. We've got some little pieces of design for the plant pot, but that actually does fit in there if somebody wanted to do something like that. These are uh, $14.95 each, these two plant stands. They just need a nice terracotta pot in them. Um, this came in this week. I absolutely love this. One for 160. It's beautifully carved. You never cease to find things that you absolutely love, do you? Well, I only buy things that I absolutely love. It makes sense, really, because then if anything was to uh, go wrong and I had to cease trading, God forbid, then I'd have all these things in my house and I'd love them all. But this lifts up. It's a very, very sturdy box, beautifully made. And um, somebody could use it as a coffee table and keep their knitting in it or their filing system, whatever. And it just looks neat and tidy. Lovely bit of carving, nice distressed paintwork on it. Just very attractive. Um, still got the plant stand. These came in this morning, actually. I haven't photographed them, measured them, haven't even cleaned the mirror yet. I think that these are going to be about 30, 35 pounds each. Just a little chunk bunks type of uh, mirror. Um, with their rope handles, got two of those. Love this little vintage pot, um, 
just looks so nice on the kitchen windowsill with your basil and your parsley and your chives in it. And then we've just got the remainder now of the garden stuff. This is really thinned out. There's very little left. So anybody want to come up and grab it whilst they can, because once it's gone, it's gone then until next spring. And that's it. Mm. Look at that blue sky. And you yeah. can see it. Come and just point this out here. See in the distance up there, that's the circle of pines, oh, which right. is um, overlooks sort of the whole of Wooden, and you can walk up there. It's got seats, and it's called the circle of pines, and it's absolutely there beautiful. And point up, you have above your head towards it. It's just through the gaps in the buildings there. And we have a lot of walkers because obviously Wooten is on the Cotswold Way and they walk down the high street. And a lot of people are always saying to me, where are the Circle of Pines? How do you get there? So that's what they look like. And you just walk up that road, cross over at the top and there's a path that takes you up. It's pretty steep, but when you get to the top of it, the view is fantastic, absolutely beautiful. And uh, this is just such a great little town. It's absolutely beautiful. People that do the flowers do a wonderful they job. Do. Don't they do. They really do. I love the hanging baskets, and it makes this little town, with all its little independent oh, shops, so stand out from Blinded. lots of other little towns. Yes. It's fabulous. So that's it for another week. Lots so of another uh, PSA, public service announcement. Oh yes. Um, oh. If anybody in Wootton under Edge has an independent shop or outlet of any kind and would like us to drop by with our live Facebook <laughs> our live faces. <laughs> uh, we're, we're happy to um, to video and share and if you could like and share this for Fifi help oh my goodness it makes us. such a difference and we'd be so grateful it really 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 helps no end and a big thank you to Nick who I'm always mocking <laughs> but actually <laughs> Nick is a backbone and a Tremendous support and wonderfully appreciated. Oh, thank you, Isn't that nice? I never say things like that to you, do I? It's like, Nick, could you just do this? Could you just do that? Could you do this? I don't know how you put up with it, though, Nick. I really don't. <laughs> anyway, just in time to go. So, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. Have a great week, everyone. Have a lovely week. And, yeah, see you next time. Lots of love. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.